Hey guys, it's Bryony. So I am off to Malta tomorrow for a holiday for 10 days. And while I'm away, I am expecting that my period will arrive. So I was just in the middle of making up my period, like my reusable travel kit when I thought, why don't I make this into today's video? Because I've seen a couple of questions recently about how do you travel on your period with reusables and what do you need to pack? And this month I'm taking mostly cloth pads as well because the last couple of months I've had some um, like pain, like burning sensation almost when I've been inserting my menstrual cup, even when I've like slathered it in lubricant, just for some reason I've got a bit of an issue with that. So I spoke to my doctor and we decided that this month we were going to just try keeping everything natural, like cottons, um, natural fibres, the bamboo velour as well, and uh, see how we go. Um, and I'm also going, Malta is a hot destination, so this is kind of seen as a cloth pad kit slash hot destination kit of what you would need. Um, so that's why there are a lot of cloth pads in this kit than I might usually take, but if you are mostly a cloth pad user, then this might be very useful to you. So everything is currently just laid out on my bed at the moment. So this is my travel bag. It's just a Precious Stars um, large wet bag with the two zippers. So I have a dry side and a wet part. Um, I am only going to be, hang on, let me start without the pads. Um, these are the three uh, reusable well yeah they are reusable but period panties that I'm going to be taking so this is the Modi Body this is the Wooka and this is the Finks so I'm taking um, three because I really really do like period underwear I've discovered I really like period underwear hang on um, and while it might not be the most breathable um, I don't think I can live without it because they re I really really do like them um, the Modi Body I loved last month so I want to check I like it this month and the Wooka I didn't get to try before I pre-washed it so we'll see about that I am still bringing some menstrual cups. Um, this in here is my me cup or my cup. Um, I can't find the bag for it anywhere, so I've just hijacked my organic cups bag to take it on holiday with. This is the new Juju Model 1 cup, which I'm taking with me to see if I can use a menstrual cup if I do feel all right, because I'm usually okay after like the first few days. Um, it stops burning for some weird reason. Um, then I will try this one out. And I also have this new cup here, which is from the Fun Factory, um, which is a very bizarre shape cup. Let me see if I can kind of show it to you guys. It's kind of hard to, do, <laughs> to get this out of its pouch one-handed. But you see, it's this really interesting shape. Um, and I'm really, really keen to, to try this cup out. Um, people were set, well, I posted a picture of this on my Instagram. And people were like, oh, where did... Where did that cup come from? Where can you find it? It's actually by, well it is by the Fun Factory, which is a German sex toy fact, um, manufacturer. But it kind of makes sense because they use really high quality silicone and menstrual cups obviously need to be made of high quality silicone. So I'm really keen to try out that one. And then the other accessory I have is just this kind of small-ish, about the size of my hand, uh, little wet bag, which is a travel pack, which will just go in my bag. So if I want to go out and about when I'm on my period, I can fit like one or two uh, clean pads in there and then change them out as I need to. So, after all that, onto the pads. Let's start at the big end, shall we? So I'm just taking one overnight pad because I'm assuming I'm mostly gonna use the underwear overnight. Um, this is my Monster 15 and a half inch, uh, what's this by, So Sweet Creations, cotton topped overnight pad. It's one of the only cotton top ones I actually have. It's quite thin though, so I thought we'd be good for the holiday. Onto heavy pads, I have this Homestead Emporium. Uh, I think this is the Ulti Mini. Uh, max um, uh, pad, which is nice and thin, and this one I find I quite like on holiday. It's also bamboo velour, so it should be good uh, in the heat. This is a cotton topped novel red. I really like this one. Just a nice heavy pad that I've always liked. This is a mini VV. This is actually cotton flannel top, but it's still cotton, so it's all right. And then this is a cotton petite top um, red anchor cloth, I think. Yeah pads and uh, it's got a good length to it. I wanted to bring some other long pads with me. And then onto my moderate flow, I had this County Cloth Creation, which I always, always have loved. It's really thin, but absorbs everything. Um, and it's just so good for hot places. It's cotton topped as well. This is a Tortoise Wing Things. I have a horrible feeling she doesn't actually um, sell anymore, but um, I really, really liked her pads. They're really good quality. This is Organic Bamboo Velour Topped. This is a Red Anchor Cloth cotton topped pad. I think that's nine and a half inches. This is a sweet pea. I always want, I always forget this one now, but I think it is sweet pea. Um, about 10 inches cotton topped pad. And then finally I have a 12 inch cotton topped. This is a Creations by Five pad. 
Then I have one light flow powder, which is also in the same material as that um, larger one, which is just a light flow Creations by Five pad, in case I have a light day that I just want to have a shorter pad on. And then on to the panty liners. I have an Essence of Eve. This is a Tortoise Wind Things. This is a Baba's Mum. She doesn't make any more either. Another Novel Red. Two Eco Rainbow panty liners. And then two Precious Stars. Um, panty liners. This is a very old one that I made ages ago. This is the more modern one. So yeah, that is everything that I will be taking with me when I go on holiday and when I travel with my period. So um, it is quite a bit. You can get away with taking less than this if you're prepared to wash while you're there. Um, we will have a washing machine. So I mean, I'm just taking this to be extra. But I always think the best thing to be t um, to do when you have a period is to always overestimate rather than underestimate. You never want to be caught short. Because um, you don't really want to have to use disposables. If you can possibly avoid it. I know I certainly don't. So yeah. And I mean if for some reason my period should happen to be super heavy. Which I doubt it will. Because touch wood. Where's wood? I'll have to tap my head. Um, my period will be light again this month. As it has been for the last couple of months. Uh, in which case I won't need to use half of these pads. And then maybe I can use my menstrual cup from like the third day or something. And we should be good. Because I'm still hoping to swim. But I hope this was helpful guys. Uh, if any of you are looking to travel. Actually do you know what? I'll show you how it all fits. Because it will all fit in here I promise you. So there you go. Underwear, menstrual cups, extra wet bag. And all the pads have all fitted into this one travel size wet bag. You can get a lot actually in these wet bags. I could still fit more pads in here if I needed to. If you were someone who had a really super heavy period. So you know. It is absolutely possible, uh, and then that will just probably go in the bottom of my suitcase. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know if there are any videos you would like to see. Don't forget you can get cloth pads and menstrual cups and also wet bags from my website, Precious Stars, which is always linked down below. And uh, I will see you at some point. I won't be filming as much when I'm on holiday, but I will try and get one video up for you guys. But yeah, I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.